Got him. Ooh, that's a bigger fish, too. Oh! That was a better thump. That one picked it up off the bottom. Well, about another 22, probably. Found him! We're catching him almost every cast. This is sick. Thanks to Omnia for letting me try out their app. You know, being a guide the last several years on Lake Sakakawea, I haven't taken a lot of fishing trips, but that's about to change this week. Because I got kicked out of North Dakota early, for one thing, but now we're getting a little bit of a warm up, and I want something different and new, and I'm gonna go to Minnesota. I'm gonna go to Mille Lacs, haven't been there for, I fished twice there, six years ago, seven years ago, something like that. So here's the deal with fishing trips as opposed to fishing a lake that you fish all the time. There's a lot of prep work that goes into it. You wanna do some homework ahead of time. You wanna know what the weather is. You wanna know what the lake looks like. You wanna know where some good spots are. You wanna know what the reports are. And uh, the concept of phone apps, in my opinion, was a great invention. It's really cool that you just add a little pieces of functionality to your phone by putting little apps on there, as opposed to having to buy a whole new phone that does something your other phone didn't. But the one thing that sucks about apps is, now typically I find myself using 18 of them to accomplish anything, right? So I'm going on a fishing trip. I usually look at my weather app, and then I look at a mapping app to look at the maps of that lake that I'm going to, and then I gotta try to find fishing reports somewhere else. But there's one app that's trying to do things a little bit different. The name of that one is it's called the Omnia Fishing app and it's from the Omnia Fishing. It's a retailer in Minnesota. And they asked me if I would try out this app for a while, especially on my trips to Mille Lacs and see what I thought of it and what I could use it for and how it could help me catch fish. So basically the most important thing you're looking for in an app like this is how do you shorten the window of research and save some time so you can get out of the water and get on fish as quickly as possible. Like I was alluding to, this app particularly is kind of a one-stop shop, first of all, for apps because it has things like weather, it has things like maps, it also has fishing reports. It's basically, I would say this is a retailer that also specializes in crowdsourcing data. And one of their main goals is to crowdsource a bunch of data to figure out what's biting, what's working, so that they can target specific lures to people if somebody's looking to say, here's the lake that I fish, here's the area I live, and they would give some lure recommendations, here's some things that you might take on your trip to help you catch fish. And the process of doing that, they had all this data, and they wound up building an app with it. So the app has a bunch of crowdsourced data from a bunch of users' sonars, which not only does its own, kind of like a hummingbird auto chart sort of thing to map out a lake, but it also shows bottom hardness, so you can find areas that have more sand versus mud versus rock, and it also shows you things like vegetation, what area has weeds and grass and that kind of stuff on the lake. So right off the bat, you have a couple ideas of if you want to fish rock, if you want to fish weeds, if you want to fish that soft bottom stuff, you know where to go to. And Mille Lacs has all of those things. And I can't wait to put that to use to go fishing on Mille Lacs. But on top of that, it also gets a lot of other stuff from satellites. It gets weather conditions. So if you want to know what the wind's doing, what the temperature's going to be, that's on the app. The water temp of the lake is on the app. So if you're fishing in the fall, hint, hint, and you wanna know how cold is the water, is it gonna be a hot fall bite yet? That app will tell you what the water temperature is of the lake you're going to, which kind of blew my mind. Like I used to have to call people and text people and email people and ask, hey, what's the water temp over there? Is the bite going yet? It's all in this app, the Omnia Fishing app. But the big kicker here is, the thing that they're about to have with their new Premium Pro subscription service, which is $49 a year, which is not that bad to begin with, which also comes with discounts on products if you buy stuff through their retailer, which you can buy on site or you can get shipped to your house, they're gonna have Navionics. So with this $49 a year subscription, not only do you get all of this stuff, but you get Navionics, which I'm really looking forward to using the ice fishing season for sure. It would be great for shore fishing. But even if you're in the boat, some people like to use Navionics on their phone in the boat to help navigate some things. Maybe they're on a lake that they don't have mapped on whatever their map service is. It's nice to have Navionics with that. I can't think of a better way to prep for a fishing trip than using this app. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to Mille Lacs. Like I said, Omnia gave me a free subscription to try this out for a little while, see what I thought. And I'm gonna try to highlight a few things. I'm gonna try to look at the map, identify two or three spots that I think will be good. I wanna fish some weeds, I wanna fish some rocks, and I wanna fish some sand. And I'm gonna pick three of those spots 
here on the Omni app, and then we're gonna hit the road, go to Mille Lacs, and check those spots out and see if it produces some fish. We're gonna get to walleyes tomorrow, but for now, you gotta check this place out. It's gonna be a pretty sweet home for the next couple of days. Couple of days, four days, five days. I don't know. A lot of time. A lot of time to do some fishing. Well, that was a little bit of an adventure. Not gonna lie. But we're out in the water. Albeit it is snowing again, and uh, I haven't got too far away from the boat ramp yet, but I'll get there in due time. It does look like I see some fish here, though, on a break line between like 12 and 18 feet. So I'm just going to throw a few casts, see what happens, and then maybe start exploring a little more and put that app to use. It's cold. It's really cold. 31 degrees but the app said the water temp was 41 and wherever they got that data from their sonar was accurate as well mine also says 41 and i had gotten a recent fishing report from somebody that was out like november 4th or 5th said they did really well jigs and minnows and a few on blade baits 7 to 11 feet rocks and weeds so I got, a, I got a fishing report to go off of, so I picked up some minnows, which I kind of figured I would anyway, and I bought three blade baits. I never caught a walleye on a blade bait before. And given that this is a very different deal than Sakakawea, I do have my braided line, but I went nuts with the leader. I got a 10-foot leader. Is that too much? Is it not enough? I don't know. It's clear water lake. First, Walter acquired. So, a couple things. <laughs> Sorry about the camera angle. One, jigging a minnow. Two, even though the fishing reports were talking about 7 to 11 feet, that was before this cold front came through. So, after trying a bunch of that, I finally decided to get off into 15, 16 feet off that break. And basically, the spot that I'm on, north end of the lake, there's a lot of sand, but I'm near the end of a rock reef. So there's reef here, sand behind me, 
and I'm basically right on that transition after it drops down into the sandy bottom versus the rock stuff. And when you're looking at the app, like you can look at that bottom hardness version of the map and the darker orange stuff is really rocky. And as it gets lighter towards lighter orange and yellow, it gets more sandy. And I'm right on the edge where it starts to get a little sandy. They're a little more finicky and a little more touchy after that cold. It is still like 32, 33 degrees today. But point being, in this case, it was like a bottom hardness transition that I was able to see on the Omni Fishing app combined with the fishing reports on there that eventually got me on my first Mille Lacs walleye for this year. I was just looking too shallow. The first few spots that I went to, I think I saw some fish up there, but I just wasn't getting bit all of a sudden I pulled into this spot. First cast back into 15, 16, 17 feet. Had a bite and miss. Second cast right in the same spot. Caught one. Got him. Ooh, that's a bigger fish too. It's a much bigger fish. Is that one of these smallies? Or is that a big walleye? <laughs> this could be one of the famous Mille Lac smallmouth here. Nevertheless, we are on fish finally. It's a really nice walleye. That is cool. <laughs> when you find them, you find them. What can I say? I cannot believe how fat that fish is. That's why it felt like a freaking smallmouth. That fish. I mean, Sakakawea has some very, very fat walleyes, but look at the belly on that thing. <laughs> that is a fat tubbo. How much is that? What is the length on that thing? That is only a 22 inch walleye, but that thing just has incredible shoulders wow okay forecast three bites two landed walleyes one of them's a really good one this is starting to be kind of fun it is nice to be catching fish but i will say my hands were a lot warmer when i wasn't catching them that was a rock well, it looks like a couple of fish shadows on the edge of that reef to my right so I marked it for you at 136. I wonder if I'm gonna get another pop bite or if I'm just gonna have all of them slurp it off the bottom. If they're just gonna slurp it off the bottom, I should probably spend a lot of time with it just sitting on the bottom, huh? Now the question is, if I get a thump or a tick, do I set the hook or do I keep waiting like I did the last two? I suppose I keep waiting. Oh! That was a better thump. I didn't need to wait. That's a walleye to the surface immediately. <laughs> well, they're I can fight down there. That's another nice fish. Another nice quality Walter. I better net them because my hands are going to get cold if I don't. Ugh. So we got like a 14, 15 incher. Then we got that really thick 22, and this one looks about like a 19. Found them. That one's way gone. Still easily retrievable, but it's way down there. So like I said, different fish, different bites. Nice. The other neat thing here is like, Mille Lacs has all kinds of different structure. You can fish sand, you can fish weeds, you can fish rocks, you can fish deep, you can fish shallow, but that probably was a fish that just let it go. Ugh. Oh, I should have waited. I got a nice tick, but I didn't learn my lesson. But I think that fish had it two different times during that cast. So point being, if you spend some time looking at that uh, Omnia fishing app and you're looking at either the weed contours or the bottom hardness contours, you can find some of that different stuff and decide what it is you want to target. Or if somebody in the fishing report says they were targeting a certain thing and you want to find it, you can find it with those different 
versions of the Omnia maps, you know. Not only does it seem like these natural lakes, as opposed to always fishing kind of that steeper contour stuff like we do at Sakakawi in the fall, you get a shallow sand flat push of fish in these types of lakes. And I don't know if that's just because of the way the bait, it's got to be because of what the bait does. Perch is a very big forage base here for these walleyes. Is that a fish that has it or is that a rock? Might be weeds. Maybe there's some weeds mixed in here and I don't know about it. Yeah, look at that. I got some weeds on my line. Okay, so we learned something there. There's a little bit of weed down there. But anyway, it's nice to be able to fish these sand flats because the fish stick out so good on the graph. So like if you're going to a place and you want something to start and you got side scan, if you start on a sand flat, you can identify some fish really easily. Whereas some of the first few spots that I was looking at were very rock oriented. And it's just so hard to pick out whether or not there's fish in there or not. And I thought there were some areas where it looks like I was seeing a few here and there. What kind they were, don't know. But it just wasn't working. I was like, I need to get out to the sand, get to a spot where I can identify some fish pretty easily. And then when I got there, as I'm graphing, I just happened to drive off the brake line and mark like two or three marks right under the boat in 16 feet of water. And I thought, hmm, okay. Cold front, they might not be that shallow. And here we are. So that's how you put all the pieces together and then use that app to kind of make you a little more efficient. It might have taken me the better part of a day to figure all that out otherwise. Within two hours, we got to the point like I haven't been at in six years, one time in the past, and we're having a ton of fun. Even if we... That one picked it up off the bottom. That's a big fish. I imagine this is at least as big as that 22 we caught. That is a feisty Malax walleye. We're catching them almost every cast. This is sick. This is absolutely sick. Well, yeah, about another 22 probably. Dang. Tell me if this isn't any fun. Here's the other thing I don't know. I don't know if you can hammer fish like this all months of the season or if this is primarily a uh, spring and fall thing you know but obviously you can hammer them in november it's just amazing how much different this spot is how much that turned things around Well, if you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button and say so. Maybe think about subscribing to the channel. And thanks to Omnia for letting me try out their app. Thanks to Jordan and Janae Green for having a great place to stay here at Mille Lacs. And uh, I'm going to be here for three more days, try to make a handful of more videos. So stay tuned for more content coming your way. Fall isn't over yet, baby.